This is Twit. I have to say, there is one social network I really like. There, you know, I know you're a big Twitter fan, Jeff, and uh, but I, I, to me, Reddit gives me the news I want. It's the social network I want. And I realized I was thinking the other day why I like Reddit because I am an enthusiast. You know, I get in, I get little, I get excited about a thing and I want to go all in on it. And with Reddit, I could say, good, I'm going to follow those three subs. And then when I move on to the next thing, I unfollow them and I follow the next three subs. So Reddit always kind of is perfectly suited to the thing I'm interested in right now. Uh, I happen to think it's a really good social network. They have apparently announced they're going to do an IPO. Owned by Condé Nast, right, Jeff? Um, uh, yeah, the majority. So Condé, well, I, I told the story on, on Twig, I guess not here. My old boss, Steve Newhouse, was desperate to buy Dig. And they weren't interested. And so he bought what oh, was then kind of oh, the second Kevin, choice. Oh, Kevin, you should have sold when you had the yeah. chance. Yeah. <laughs> so it was the second choice was, oh, this thing called Reddit. They're pretty cool. They're a little weird and different. But they were a Dig you know, clone they, initially. They clearly copied yes. Dig. There's oh, no yeah, question. Yeah. yeah. And and Steve taught me interactivity. Steve Newhouse, he's, 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 he's visionary about it. So he got Reddit and he owned it fully for not much money at all. But then very wisely kind of spun it out a bit so he created equity to to motivate the former owners to keep going and new staff. And and then they were able to acquire things and work that way. And so now going to a full IPO was really kind of a brilliant arc of the story where they could get the full value now of Reddit. If I were Tim Stevens, an ice racer, I'm sure there's a <laughs> subreddit. I'm sure there is for, for every little n niche. And, and I bet you there's an ice Reddit. I'm actually not sure. I know there's a super ice Reddit, and I'm certainly on it, but uh, I'm actually not sure there's a sub Reddit. I'm <laughs> right. checking right okay. now as we speak. Okay. Is there a klutz Reddit? I'd be there. <laughs> so <laughs> it's so interesting because you can. I think it's. I think it's a good IPO. I think this. There are definitely issues like with every social network. I mean, Reddit was hosting a lot of horrible stuff, but they uh, under Conde. I think for a long time. Uh, under uh, Alexis Ohaney and then Steve Huffman, they kind of wanted to be the free speech uh, wing mm -hmm. of the free speech party like Twitter. But I think they realized that's not going to fly and Condé certainly didn't want to be host to some of the horrible stuff that was on Reddit. So they've gotten right. rid of all of those, I think. Have they gotten rid of all of it? No, or, or there's is it still, just not visible now? There's, it's like Tumblr. <laughs> there's still yeah. adult content. But the thing about Reddit is you don't, you only see what you want to see. So you get to follow what you're interested in. Uh, and I think that, that, I think, I don't know, I, I believe in, anyway, I think the IPO, I think it'll be very interesting. I feel like they'll do well. Let's, let's just say that, but maybe that's just me. They wanted to be the civil, somebody dwindle in the chat room saying they wanted to be the civil 4chan. Yeah, they, pre, I think they predate 4chan, maybe not. But uh, uh, yeah, I think they do. I mean, I mean, Steve, dude, my old boss did call me after I left the company and kind of said, what? What do we do with this bad stuff here? Yeah, because the, 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 as you say, the owners, the, the the founders wanted to keep it as free speech, um, and and it's the difficulty of number one setting a policy and number two enforcing it at scale. Right, it's a problem with but everybody other, says. But the thing that Reddit do. does differently that is different from say Twitter, it's not different from Facebook. It's different from Twitter. Is you have moderators for each subreddit, so they are kind of responsible for what that subreddit's rules are. And so because there are people who have some ownership of it, they're not paid, but they have some ownership of it, uh, I think it works pretty well. Um, I don't know. I mean, how does, how well, does, how does your Reddit point, make money? Lee. Go ahead. How does Reddit make money? Advertising, right? It's advertising. Yeah. There is advertising there. Yeah. Uh, but they mostly, wasn't for a long time. And, and I pay for Reddit. I mean, there is, you can, you know, uh, pay yeah. for gold coins or something. I don't know what I get. Yeah. But I'm just wondering how much. Go, go ahead, Owen. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm just nope, I'm nope. just wondering how much money they have for having an IPO. Like I, I just don't I don't know if the market's gonna. Like, I guess the market cares about that. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm just I, I, I still think of Reddit as like Nerdville and like hyper finite Nerdville. So I mean, as far as money for the masses, I, I'd be interested to see it. I just don't think it'll work. But that's just me. I don't know anything. Yeah. So Leo, actually, your point about Reddit proves what you keep on whining about with Facebook. Um, and Twitter is how you want what you want to see and you don't want to see anything else that somebody else recommends to you. That's why you like Reddit so much, right? Yes. 
It's that's not exactly algorithmic. right. And it's not algorithmic. That's, like it. that's another I, for point. one, like my algorithmic masters, but you don't. No, and uh, we've had this conversation on this on Twig and on this show, and mm -hmm. there are people who say, oh, no, you wouldn't want, you'd be bored to tears. Adam Masseri, the guy in charge of Instagram, says you'd be bored to tears if you only had a, a chronological feed of the people you're following. See, I don't, I disagree. That's up to me to make it what I want it to be. Where do you fall on this, uh, Tim Stevens? I think it, it depends on the platform. I actually genuinely enjoy on Instagram, for example, seeing kind of interesting things on Other there. But stuff. for Twitter, I, I absolutely want a linear feed of the people that I'm following. And, and I maintain pretty strict lists in terms of, of what I want to see. And so I'll hop from one list to the next, depending upon what kind of content I'm looking for. If I'm looking for you know, news that we need to hit, for example, I have one list for that. If I'm just kind of checking out with what my friends are up to, I have a list for those sorts of things too. Um, but I, I definitely like the Reddit model in terms of, of subscribing to what you want to see. It, it does bubble up things to the front page that are just genuinely interesting. I think it does a pretty good job of that too. But I tend to prefer to curate my own things uh, when I can. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I didn't mean to turn this into a referendum. How do you, let me, ask, no, let me ask a question about it. What's the smartest way, for those of you who, who love it, because I have not been on it much, what's the smartest way to use Reddit? How do you use Reddit well? I would say you should pick some, and a small number of re subreddits. So Reddit is, a, it's kind of like forum software. It's divided into se sections of interest. Uh, I would pick a few things that you are really interested in uh, and follow those. So uh, I follow, for instance, slash r slash uh, politics. Um, I think that's a good one. Obviously, you know, you're not going to follow r Linux or slash r slash Valheim. That's not going to be in your... There's Pixel 6. See, that's a good one. Let's say I know you have a Pixel 6. You've had some problems with it. That would be a good one to follow. Unfortunately, uh, the Pixel 6 subreddit has a problem a lot of Reddits do where uh, people post pictures of stuff the mac subreddit i don't know why everybody posts their picture of their new mac like i could care less um pixel 6 uh subreddit got uh, all of a sudden a lot of cats uh but <laughs> but but pick politics or news um you know i follow the succession subreddit i follow the chess subreddit things like that i also follow a lot of tech stuff so pick three or four things you're really interested in because they're, you know, a lot of these are very active. A lot of them will have multiple, mm -hmm. you know, dozens of posts, but they're not like Twitter active, and they're Reddit, very, very specific. I, I find Reddit to be some of the smartest regular people on earth. Again, it's a very finite window for people that are into groups. But like, when you get into a group, sometimes I read stuff and I'm like, man, you should be like running a country or something. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Just post it on here. Like, who you should, you well, should there overthrow is, a company. There is a like. There's a, a lot of a Reddit subreddit called Best of slash r slash mm -hmm. Best of, where it is. That's exactly what people do. This was the best post. Like this guy nailed it on some topic, yeah. and so yeah. that's a good example of. But I, I will also say that Reddit has its own culture, and some of the comments on a, any given post can devolve into kind of Reddit stupidity. Where it's America. They, yeah, it's America. But in general, I think Reddit is the one <laughs> social network where you should always read the comments. And I think, you know, on YouTube and elsewhere, you, you, you kind of say, well, don't read the comments. But in Reddit, you really should because quite often something will, will bump up its own page and the first comment will be, well, actually, this is fake and here's why it's fake and here's how you can tell it's fake. And you wind up learning, oh, now I can identify this as being fake in the future. And you don't really see that that level That's good uh, point. of commenting. That's a very good point. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times, yeah, there's a, there's a meme going around and the, and you will and the redditors are smart and will say yeah see you could tell this is faked but what i usually will do is i'll read the comments until it gets to the point where it starts to descend into reddit you know punning <laughs> and then i'll say okay this comments this comment is done <laughs> let's go to the next one